So let's start with uh, my my journey as an a CSU Venture Ambassador. Actually, my role as an ambassador actually is to promote that kind of thinking. Like, um, because not many people, yeah, I mean, you know, I was trained as a PhD and postdoc, you know, like straight technical area. I mean, very technical in what we do. IP is a totally different language, different area. So I would say exposure. First thing must be exposed because people don't know what they don't know. So that's why my role as ambassador, actually I hosted two events to invite PhD students and postdocs to expose them about IP, talk to them about disclosing, to do a disclosure to a CSU Ventures before any publishing or public disclosure, like going presentation and give presentation or publish a paper because that will void your patents right away because they will count as prior art. So, um, so I was lucky as well because of Professor Miyaki. I mean, he, he, got, he did a postdoc in Caltech. There was a good uh, environment in terms of um, startups, commercializing your ideas and IP. Uh, doing IP filing. So he was in that, he was immersed in that environment. So he, actually his advisor will ask him, should we file a patent on this? Because it become a second nature to researchers over there. And Garrett bring that experience here. And he, yeah, and I also learned that from him. And actually this CSU Ventures, I would say, did a tremendous, I mean, they continually to do tremendous jobs in educating people, ambassador program, because prior to them doing all this program, yeah, there's no, you know, it was just a text transfer office and there was a big disconnect between people doing the research and filing the IP. I mean, so yeah, we really appreciate um, CSU Ventures doing the outreach. Now more and more people know about this and, you know, understand the whole IP process.